Hi my beautiful family and welcome to another of my videos. Today I'm going to try some of the products that my friend Valerie sent to me in our box swap. If you want to see that video where I unbox the box and show you all of the products that came to me, you can click on the link up here or a link down below, watch it after what, before or after this video, depending how you like, but there are some products that I'm not going to be able to try today, but I'll try as many as possible. So if you want to see me using those products, then please keep on watching. The first product I'm not going to use, but I want to talk about is this Joa Beauty Morning Glow Hydrating Overnight Mask. I really like this face cream. This is a face cream that's light, that gives me very nice, healthy glow. Oh, it smells so good. Glow in the morning. It feels really, really good on my skin. I do have oily skin or combination skin, and I really appreciate how it moisturizes my skin. So it, in the morning, it feels very soft and hydrated. So I really, really like that. So that's a really big plus, big, big plus. But I am going to use a primer and I didn't got any primer from, from Valerie, but I'm going to use this uh, L'Oreal Infallible that I really like. This is like a gripping primer. It's a good primer, not my favorite. It's not a dupe for milk. I do have milk here, but it's not a dupe, but it's a really good primer. I have a video on it on my channel if you want to see that. I'm going to use this, but I did get a foundation or a CC cream from e.l.f. and that's what I'm going to use. I got the shade 210 neutral, but I'm going to mix it with the one that I had also that's a little bit lighter. So I'm going to, this is mine that I already opened uh, and used. I'm not going to open that one because I already have that shade. I'm going to mix those two shades. Can watch her try my products on her channel because she is doing the same thing so if you want to see what she got from me and how she feels about those products then go over to Valerie's channel and check that out this is a really good CC cream full coverage so this is a really good CC cream it is kind of a um, heavy texture but it doesn't feel heavy on the skin and I always when I use it a little apply a little bit too much which is unnecessary you don't need to use this much as I did like two and a half pump on all my face I think one one and a half pump it's more than enough but I always want to be more dramatic and go always a little bit over the normal. I'm going to go in with my e.l.f. Uh, hydrating camo concealer. This is one that I got from a, from Valerie last time when we had our box swap. I love doing box swap with Valerie and I'm really happy with this box too. I always am happy with all of the box but what I like about this box is that I got so many products from a brand that I never heard of and it's this Believe Beauty and I can't wait to try that. Okay, before I said this, I do want to go in with the creamy blush that I got. This is Believe, Believe Beauty. And this is in shade Tropical Sun. I'm going to use my finger to apply it. It feels, oh, pigmented. Ooh, maybe I went a little bit too much with this product. Let's see. And I'm continue applying it. Why? Let's go in with the sponge. I love using the cream blushes. Oh, such a beautiful shade. It's blending, blending beautifully. It's blending very nice. It's not patchy. It's not removing my foundation under. And it looks so beautiful. I love this coral orange shade. Oh, I love this blush. I really love this blush. And mm, um, I really love this blush. Ooh, my new favorite. I love it. I love it, love it, love it. I'm going to set everything with Believe Beauty Powder. This is the Matte Blur Loose Tra Powder in Translucent. Because I'm starting to crease. So 
Okay, let's see. I'm going to blend. Is that blender? It looks like it has pigment, but it says translucent, so. Oh, but it definitely, it's not translucent. I don't know if you see, but it made my under eyes a little bit darker. More like yellow. Definitely changed the color of my under eye. But it smoothed out everything and it's really filled in my pores. My pores are not there at all. They are gone. Gone, gone, gone. Well, love how it, how it looks under my eyes. It smoothed out everything and it blurred all of my pores, but it did change the color of my under eyes. So I am going to set the whole face. I'm not going to go a little over the blush though, because I'm scared that it's going to change the blush color. I'm going to go and use this. This I didn't got from Valerie, but I do want to brighten up everything under my eyes just a little bit. There we go. Flawless under my eyes. I love that powder. But this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to set all my under eyes with this powder when I use it because I love how it looks. Really love how it looks. But I am going to go in with this brightening powder to brighten up because it did change the color of my concealer. I do want to go in with eyebrows because I did get a couple of eyebrow products and I got two eyebrow pencils, one from um, Belay Beauty, one is ash brown and the other one is light brown and I also got three different gels, one clear, then we have uh, light brown and I think medium brown. I already tried the clear um, gel, eyebrow gel, and I really, really liked it. It kept my eye my eyebrows in place. I really enjoyed that one. So I'm not going to use it today, the clear one. I'm actually going with the colored one. Let's see, this is the light brown. Oh, it's a creamy. Ooh, I didn't expect that. This looks better than I thought. Nice. And this is the ash brown. Oh, I love the ash brown. They are kind of similar. But the ash brown is more like, uh, has more of that cold undertone. Cool undertone. So I'm going to go in with ash brown. <laughs> it's a soft. This product is really pigment, so I, you need to be careful when you go in so you don't press too hard because then it's going to be, um, you get a little bit too much of the product, but it's easy to blend. I'm really enjoying this. Okay, we are going to go in with light brown first. Oh, this one is really light. A little bit too light for my eyebrows. But you know what? Okay, let's go with the dark one. Oh yeah. Blending these two together, the dark and the light one in the beginning of the eyebrow, makes that ombre color. Oh, I like this. I do like this a lot. Okay eyebrows are in place and I'm really enjoying that. I'm going to go in because I feel like I'm a little bit flat. I'm going to go in with the bronzer and I got the baking Beauty Bakery bite size bronzer and this is the snack room bronzer. This is such cute packaging. I love the packaging. It's soft. It's soft. What do I Oh, I like this shade. Okay, let's see. We have a bronzer, clear bronzer brush. So I do love going in heavy with my bronzers because I love that bronzy look. 
this bronzer is blending like butter. Oh, I love that. I'm really liking this blush. Oh, I like this bronzer. I think it looks really nice, but I'm going to go in with Believe Beauty, the Get Glow Highlight and Contour Palette that we have here. And we are going to highlight. I'm going to go in and uh, use this blush. Oh, I'm scared. No, I don't want to use this blush. I'm going to use the highlighter. I'm going to use my finger. Oh, and see if we can use the highlighter if it's not too dark, is it? Just a little bit. The highlighter is a little bit too dark for me. It's nice highlighter, but it's a little bit too dark. But I am definitely going to try this again because I feel like the blush and the bronzer are really beautiful. This is the blush and the bronzer. They're really pigmented and really beautiful. But I feel like I'm going to mess up the makeup look that I already have. So I'm going to try this in another video on my face. But um, yeah. I do enjoy the powder. So I'm going to set my under eyes and I got two eyeshadow primers. I got the Juvia's Place and I got the Too Faced. But I, th I think I want to use this one. I think this one has pigment. I don't think the Too Faced has pigment in it. And I want something that will color correct right now. And I'm really excited to try this one. This is in shade one. I'm going to use Morphe and Jaclyn Hill brush number 41 and I usually set my eyeshadow primers with some powder but I'm not going to do that today. I go, got a couple of palettes from Valerie eyeshadows but I am very curious to go in with this one. This is the e.l.f. Bite Size Eyeshadow in Berry Bad. But I do want to try this palette too. This is the Beauty Bakery Bite Size Eyeshadow Palette. And I've never tried anything from Beauty Bakery. And this is when you, when the recipe calls for pastels and pops of color, grab marshmallows. So I'm going, going, with, going to go in with this purple shade here. Ooh, it's really pigmented. So this blended beautifully on uh, beautifully without being patchy at all. And I'm going to go in with this shade, first shade here. And go into the crease. To deep up the crease and blend this. So far these are blending very, very nice. So I'm going to go in with the brushes that I got from Valerie from Beauty Bakery. They are so damn cute. So I'm going to go in with this fluffy brush and I do want to go in with to this darkest shade in here. That fluffy brush. I know it kind of sounds scary because this is a fluffy brush but I do want to go and deep it up a lot this look. Oh, this brush is very soft. So I'm going to clean the brush and go in with that first shade from the e.l.f. that we used and just blend a little bit higher. I'm going to switch to the other brush and I'm going to go this this cute cute brush and go again with that deepest shade in this palette and try to build up then I'm going to go in with I think I'm going to go in with this one I like that one is going to go to work to go in with the, this shade here all over the rest of the eyelid or maybe not let's see I'm going to clean this brush that we used and the spoon brush, <laughs> the spoon brush. Now I'm going to go back into this 
palette and I do want to go in with this shade here, the shimmery shade here, that's kind of like a pinkish, pinkish shade and I'm going to place it that's nice. I don't know if you can see it on camera but just made everything so perfect. I like that. Bring something new to this look. This shade on the, the lower lash line and then we're going to defeat the corner with that dark shade. So there was a little bit of fallout but nothing major that actually bothered me at all. I'm really enjoying these two palettes that I tried. I do have other eyeshadows that I'm going to try from Valerie. I did get this shade here, like a um, hmm, glimmer rose gel. Should I try this? Or am I going to ruin this beautiful makeup look? Hmm, I just want to swatch it. Let's just swatch it and see what we have to work with. Work with. Do I have any clean fingers? I don't feel like that. Oh, that's an interesting texture. I'm going to definitely try. This is really interesting texture. Oh my god, I love that. Oh wow, I love that shade. It's can't explain it. Very soft. Not kind of gel powdery. I don't know. Look at that. But it's, it's like like a duochrome, I don't know if you can see. Mm, orange. Pink, gold. Oh, I love that. Oh, I like it. Cute. I don't know if, either, if they have diff other shades, but this one is really good. So, Valerie, if, Valerie, if they have different shades, buy some. Buy some. Okay. Now, I did get a couple of uh, liners. Different liners. I got two that are uh, from metallic liquid eyeliners from Believe Beauty and then I got a couple of other eyeliners that are long-lasting eyeliner and I don't know this one is mystic oh this is like a grayish color the mystic one this one is so slate that's kind of more like a um, dark gray. This one is like purple gray mystic. Dark gray. Oh, I think this one is green. Oh, I love that. Also like a metallic green color. I'm going to go in with the mystic one in my waterline. And I need to go closer to my mirror so I can see with that. So in the waterline, this Mystic went on really, really smooth and nice. I don't know if this is going to last long, but I really like it. So I did got also these metallic two shades. I think I have a black one and this kind of purpley one. I don't know. It's kind of weird shade. It's kind of grayish kind of. I thought it was Midnight in Paris. Hmm. It's very light though. This is like a gr strange tex texture from this one. Let's shake it. Yeah, it's really weird texture. It's more like a gray color. I don't want it that one. Let's see the other one that we have. This is in shade Siren in Town. Let's shake it. Okay, this is the green one. So I won't be able to use that one because this purple one looks to be... This is matching the color. So this purple is this here and it's not matching. I don't know if it's... Okay, now when I press it hard, now you can see. Okay, let's just go in. Maybe this will be a mistake. But let's see. I'm going to be careful. I really like my look. 
I don't know what's wrong with this purple one, but it's not really, you can see it's kind of a little bit uneven. It's not giving me the same vibes as this green one, because look at this green one, how consistent it is. So, so I'm really enjoying the green one, but I am going to go in with the, another one, um, caviar gel liner that's black oh, I'm liking these more long lasting eyeliners I really enjoy the these I really like this okay so um, we have that the face what do we have left I do still have a couple of products to try out but I'm going to do mascara. No, I'm going to set my face. Let's set it. I got this Milani Cherry Make It Last setting spray. I don't know, I'm so excited. Let's see. Oh my God, it smells so good. Oh my God, it smells so good. Oh, I want to buy hundred of these. So I got two mascaras. I got the Tarte one and I got the Sugar Rush. Sugar Rush. So I want to use the Sugar Rush one because I don't remember trying this at all. I think I tried the Tarte one I did try before and I didn't try the primer though. So I'm very excited that, that there is the primer in there. But I haven't tried this Sugar Rush one. And this one is supposed to volumize, volumize, short brushes, separate the, the fan long. This is definitely a scary one. Don't poke yourself on the eye. I'm not a fan of the one because it's that plastic um, one that's kind of scary and hurts like hell when you poke yourself on the eye. But mascara is amazing. Look at that. Oh, look what they did to my lower lash line, lash line. I like the mascara though. This looks to be a really good mascara. So I did got the lashes, but I don't think I'm going to use them now. I did got these, these Kiss, Kiss lashes. They look stunning. And I also got the Achiever, Clear Achiever, Achiever um, from Adele. So I'm going to use this in another video because I feel like the mascara did an amazing job for my lashes and I don't want to mess it up. And it's kind of light, so I'm not going to use the eyelashes for whole day. So I kind of feel it's a shame to waste them. But mascara looks amazing. Kind of got some mascara transformation here, but we're going to fix that. Oh my God, this really made my lashes look very long. And pores, I don't have pores, guys. I don't have, they're gone. Oh, I love my makeup. Okay, we have lips left. And I did got a couple of lipstick from the Believe Beauty. So I don't know which color to use. I don't want to go nude though. But I want to something that goes with this look. This one, definitely. This is the shade Vintage Romance. And I'm going to use a lipstick, a lip liner. I'm going to go in with this Essence Soft Contour Lip Liner in shade Never Too Late. This is so smooth and so... This is a really, really smooth lipstick. I really enjoy it. So guys, this is the final look. I really enjoy all of those these products that I try. I only am disappointed of this purple kind of uh, liner, liquid eyeliner that I thought it would look amazing. Uh, but everything else looks good. I enjoy the powder a lot. And really, I like it. Um, for, I definitely use a brighter powder for to brighten up my under eyes because it did change the color of my concealer. And I love the eyebrow products. The mascara is amazing. The, the, these eyeshadows that I tried today look stunning. Stunning, stunning, stunning. 
The blush is also one of my favorite products that I tried today. Uh, and the powder and the lipstick looks really good. I do have a couple of more shades to play with and I can't wait for that. The setting powder looks really good. I all of the pro all of the pro I really enjoy the gel liner too. They are amazing. So everything was a perfect hit. Okay, except the this one eyeliner but everything else was a perfect hit and i really really love all of the products thank you so much valerie if you watch this video for sending these products to me can't wait to play more with these i love the brushes and look at this cute brush holder so damn cute very very cute i love it um, but Valerie, thank you so much, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know down below if you tried any of these products. What do you think about them? Don't forget to watch me unbox on the video if you already haven't seen that. You know, opening all of these products just so you can see everything that I got because there are a couple of more products that I got from Valerie that I didn't have ch chance to try out today. Go over to Valerie's channel, check out her video. She was also posting the video where she tries out the product that I sent to her. So I can't wait to see that. The foundation or CC cream, I really enjoy and like. And yeah, everything worked out. I'm definitely going to see how the eyeshadow primer is going to hold my eyeshadow on because I have very oily eyelids and I love experimenting and trying out new products or new eyeshadow products. But guys, I also got this palette. I also got this palette that I didn't have a chance to play with today. I can't wait to do that. This looks stunning. Love it. Uh, but yeah, like I said, there are a couple of more products that I didn't have a chance to try today, but I'll definitely will. So stay on my channel for that because I the film. I will follow another video where I try more of these products and maybe I should film a second video with trying just the product that I got from Valerie. Because I didn't have chance to try the face palette and the other eyeshadow palettes and the liners and lipstick and mascara. Yeah, I will definitely film another video where I try the product from Boxwap because this one was a success. But yeah, guys, don't forget to hit that notification bell, subscribe to my channel, but also to Valerie's if you already haven't. Thank you so much for watching and for uh, being here and supporting me and Valerie. I love you so much and see you in my next video. Bye!